Hey guys, it's Lisa. I'm going to do another video tonight. Um, so hence the same errand slash workout outfit of Sunday evening. Um, yeah, so today, uh, right now I'm going to do another um, Can't Live Without Never Again video. And this one's going to be about perfume. So I have a perfume collection video um, if you want to see all of them because I'm not going to go through all of them because some of them um, like I'm indifferent towards and don't know for sure. Like they're the ones that I basically I'm gonna get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bleh. <laughs> that's bad that I could that I'm going to mention today. Goodness, this is why this is gonna be my last video today because I can't speak. Yeah, um, the ones that I'm gonna mention are the ones that I know for sure I can't live without and the ones that I know for sure I wouldn't repurchase. So the rest are just kind of like indifferent. I'm not sure about. I'll decide when the time comes when the bottle like runs out so if you want to see what all of them are um they should all be the same in that we're in that video except for um i did get that jennifer aniston rollerball otherwise i don't have any anything new since that video i don't think so um i'll start with my uh never agains um first i'm gonna mention um the kim kardashian perfume when i first tried this i had gotten a sample um with a sephora order and i actually loved the sample and used it all up and like couldn't wait to get a bottle of this, but I'm kind of glad that I got the smallest bottle they sold. Um, it's not on Sephora anymore. Um, I think you have to get her perfume through other outlets, but it does smell good. Um, it's like a creamy gardenia type scent, but I, if I wanted to get another scent like this, I would either get, because this one smells a lot like the original Michael Kors one, I would either get the Michael Kors one, um, just because I think it's, and I'm I'm pretty sure about this, but like I'm I'm pretty sure that he uses a higher quality of ingredients um, to make his fragrance than what she did. Um, it's a higher price point, which doesn't always mean higher quality. But when you smell it, it just smells more, um, more higher quality. I don't know how else to say it. It just it just smells like it's better ingredients, ingredients notes, um, whatever you know what I mean with the perfume notes. Um, yeah, I just don't think this is as high quality as it could be. And I think with like a gardenia, you want higher quality um, fragrance oil or whatever it is exactly that they use to get a really good fragrance payoff. So nice fragrance, but I don't reach for it that much at all. And I know I wouldn't repurchase this. Um, next in my Never Agains is also a kind of gardenia type scent. It's the Marc Jacobs original one. I have put kind of a dent in this one and I have put a dent you can't see through the bottle on the video, I know, but I'm down to, like, here in that one. So I've used quite a bit of it, I guess. Um, same with this one. I typically wear this one, like, on weekends when I'm running around. I didn't wear it today. Um, I'll tell you what I've worn a little bit. But this one is also kind of a gardenia, but it's more crisp. It's a little bit too crisp, crisp for me. Um, if I were to get another one, the other one that I would kind of consider getting if I got another gardenia type scent would be, I'm um, not just the Michael Kors original, but the Kai, K-A-I, um, perfume or fragrance oil. That one smells really good. At least from the last time I smelled it. It's been a while since I smelled it, so I would want to try it again, but I remember that one being good. So, but yeah, I just wouldn't get another full size of this. It's it smells good, but I think it's one of those things where it doesn't just, it's not the best mix for me. So this would probably smell amazing on somebody else. Like, um, for example, Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue. I like how it smells on some other people, but when I spray it on myself, I smell like I haven't showered for a week, which is disgusting. So even though it smells good, I can't wear it because it mixes with me kind of funky. Now, okay, this one may not mix with me the best, but it doesn't smell bad like that. So... I do wear this one sometimes, just I wouldn't get it again. Um, another one that I know I, I won't repurchase is um, the Juicy Couture Couture Couture. This bottle is beautiful. I love how it looks um, when I when I wear a perfume, I put it on my counter in my bathroom for the day. So like if I need to re-spritz or um, I don't know, it's just a habitual thing, I guess. When I wear one, I take it out of my box, which is kind of tucked away, and I put it on my counter. So this one looks so pretty and elegant um, when it sits on the counter. I like how it looks. It just feels, I don't know, pretty, I guess. I like the way it smells. None of these, I wouldn't have bought a perfume that I don't like the way it smells, but it just comes down to, I don't reach for it that much. It's not the best mix with my skin chemistry. 
I just know I wouldn't get it again. Um, so of course I like the way it smells. To me, it kind of smells a little bit like the, I have the Viva Blue Juicy. Um, I just have a little tiny bottle of it. Um, I like this one. Um, it's This one is like a way fruitier version of the Couture Couture basically. And they came out with Couture Couture after Viva Blue Juicy. So I guess this one is a less fruity version of Viva Blue Juicy. But yeah, Couture Couture is nice, but I just know I wouldn't. I know I wouldn't get it again. Um, and Viva La Juicy is one of those that I'm indifferent to. I just am not sure if I would get it again once it runs out. Um, but of the Juicy Couture fragrances, I know that I can't live without the original Juicy Couture. Um, and I have used this so much. And I know I said the same thing in my perfume video, but I've used this a lot since then. And it's like I can't make, it's like it refills itself automatically because I keep using it and it's like it doesn't go down hardly at all. Um, I like this one a little bit more in the winter, fall, like cooler months, but it smells really good. I like it. And it's weird. The first time I smelled this, the first couple times I smelled this, I didn't like it at all. <laughs> I actually couldn't stand it. So either my body, my body chemistry changed or I don't know. Um, I think that's it for as far, oh, never mind. No, I have one more. Um, this was kind of a, um, I really shouldn't have, this is one, okay, I like the way it smells, but I, knowing that I can't do overly sweet fragrances, I shouldn't have bought this one. I've had it for so long, and it's a little, um, tiny one back when Sephora sold, um, Comptoir Sud Pacifique. It's vanilla apricot, vanilla, yeah, vanilla apricot. It smells really good. It's almost like a fruity vanilla that sounds kind of gross, but, um, it just kind of smells like candy, which smells good, but I cannot do, like, my body chemistry can't do um, overly sweet. I guess because I'm already sweet enough. <laughs> just kidding. But I, yeah, I can't do sweet, sweet fragrances. It just, they, it's too much for me. Um, moving on to, so this video isn't too long. Moving on to um, I Can't Live Withouts. Some of these shouldn't be a huge surprise because I mentioned them before. Um, I don't think I mentioned this one very much, but it's um, Coco Mademoiselle. I love this one. It's kind of strong, so I really only save it for um, my like special occasion fragrances, um, like my fancy days. That's when I wear it. Um, also, I think I definitely would repurchase the Jennifer Aniston one. I've been reaching for it a lot. Um, I actually put this on myself this morning, and then... Um, another thing I'm going to mention when I went to the mall to get my sister's birthday present, uh, I, of course, made my round through the, um, like, makeup department and the perfume counters, and I sprayed on, which I didn't used to like this one, but I, when I smelled the body cream, I was like, actually, I think I like this, so I put a little bit of the body cream on, and then I sprayed myself, because I immediately, like, fell in love with it, and I can't stop smelling myself. <laughs> um, it's the Victor and Rolf Flower Balm. I have it on today, and I want to eat my arm. Like, it, it smells amazing. I think um, I definitely want to get a bottle of that, but when she priced it for me, it was kind of pricey, so I wasn't going to pick it up today. Um, but, yeah, so Coco Mademoiselle, um, and then I've been really loving and definitely would want another one of these or a full bottle of the Jennifer Aniston. Um, and then uh, this is my second bottle of this. It's the Lolita Lempica. I really like this one. This is about as sweet as I can go for perfume. Um, it is kind of on the sweeter end, but it has enough of, like, musky, like, um, I don't want to say incense, but enough of those other, like, kind of spicy notes that it kind of cuts that down, like, the sweet down a little bit and makes it wearable for me. It's not an everyday fragrance, but I think I wore this one, like, all last week. Then, of course, I think this is my third bottle of it, um, is my Amazing Grace. All-time favorite perfume as of right now. Um, I love this one, and I will always have this one in my perfume collection. So, yeah. That's my um, Can't Live Without Never Again video for perfumes. And hopefully it's not too long. Anyway, I am going to say goodbye now, but I will see you guys soon. Have a great Thanksgiving, and until next time. Bye, guys.